DPMM just a few minutes later. Look at this run from Rene Koma. Rode a few challenges and then unleashed this shot beyond the despairing dive of Sharul Jantan. Look what it meant to them. One all, and it was just about 10 minutes on the clock. Superbly taken, second long range effort from him in this tournament. And another contender for goal of the competition. Well, after that, there were a few good chances, particularly for DPMM. Great turn and shot from Odogi. Would have been another fantastic goal, wouldn't it? Just a few more inches to the left, and it would have gone in. And then Sharul Jantan was called to action a couple of times, just batting that away. Second half, and SAF began to assert themselves. Half chances, really. They didn't have a clear-cut effort in that second half that they could really feel aggrieved by. There you go, there's another one for Park Tae Won. Good pressure from SAF, but they just couldn't convert. And ever so often, as we said, it was DPMM. Look at this effort from Hardy Bujang. Great save as well from Sharul Jantan. Best chance of the half, really. SAF had a couple of headers that were cleared, and this save as well from Wardan Yusuf. Diving well across at the near post. And this was Alexander Diric using his strength, but not enough power in that header. So after 90 minutes, it's DPM MFC 1, Singapore Armed Forces 1. So absolutely nothing between these two teams. The crowd is absolutely buzzing. Let's go back to Shazad for extra time. There you go. The players are just readying themselves for another 30 minutes. Just to remind you, of course, that SAF have already been there. Did it in the quarterfinals. So they have got the experience. DPMM haven't had this yet. I wonder if experience will count here. Still two substitutions to make for the armed forces. DPMM made two already. So just one left for them. Walker's trying to volley that in. Didn't come off. Koma with this defensive stroke playmaker role. Cheryl Tantan, what's he done? This could be a costly mistake. Well, luckily for him, Rosali Kalik helps him out. Just a bit of nerves there from Singapore Armed Forces. Okay, okay. That blazes over from Wilkinson. There's a chance here. Sarazen could just only lob it ever so slightly to Sharul Jantan. There's a little bit of confusion in that defence there. Can they get the goal? Ahmad Latif now stands over it. Like every other free kick, it's not really troubled the goalkeeper tonight. That's the end of the first period of extra time. Still very little to decide between the two sides. It is tough work out there, let me tell you. Just look at that. All the seats filled up. People going off for a quick break. Don't go anywhere though, because we are going to be right back into the action, of course. Rene Koma, that goal seems so long ago, doesn't it, from him? Sea of blue here for the Armed Forces supporters. Nervous moments for them. They need this trophy in the cabinet. Richard Bock, with final instructions to his teams. Very little rest here for the weary, isn't it?
Well, very few words indeed from Veran Simonic. How often do you say that? There's still one substitute each that can be used if need be. Trudging on, they are exhausted. As we said, luckily for them, they don't have to play for quite a little while now after this game. It's been a bruising encounter at times. For the final 15 minutes, if it stays this way, we will go to penalties. Great ball from Hadi Bujang. Oh, doggy with a trailing foot. And again, it's a ball into the box that falls behind the defenders. This falls to Razali. Great run from him. Good pass. And that's another corner. Scheifel with a half-hearted question to the referee. That was a penalty. Sea of red. Can't get through that. Scheifel. Good looking cross. Aman Latif with his first real chance on goal. Heads out wide. Chipped in. Good block from Durich. Rosali Kalik. Far post. Well, good save again for Wadunet. Could have been creeping into that near post from Wilkinson. Okusawa regains control. Good ball in. Wilkinson with a shot. Just over. They're finding gaps here. Singapore on faces. This is Park Day 1. He's got a bit of space here, across the goal. But Rene Komal, the slice clearance. It's sixes and sevens in that box at the moment. It's a raised leg by Scheifel. He's on a yellow. Park with another cross into the box. They're just trying to feed Durant at the moment. Scheifel, this falls. Nicely to Wilkinson, he got a shot away, it was well blocked in the end by Safari Wahid. Well, this tells you a bit of a story, they're already playing for penalties it looks like. Rene Koma there. Well, not a great channel, challenge from him. Got to keep their cool. Well handled by the referee, just quickly comes in and stops. Frustration here. Hacking out there at Fukasawa. That is a bad foul by Rene Koma. But he needs to keep cool. I'm sure he'll be one of their penalty takers. They've controlled much of this period and probably feel they're the more dominant team and should be scoring that winning goal. Odogi. This could be the goal, but he slips over. Subi Abdullah. There's a good ball through. Richard Bock furious with his defensive building because the referee wants everything completely set up properly in that box. No nonsense. It's evaded everyone. It's a goal kick. Plenty of pace on that. Simple header on target, could have resulted in the winning goal. I think it was Wilkinson who got just a little touch on it, perhaps. Well, he was at the far post. Well, this is surely it. And there we have it, after more than 120 minutes of play. We still can't separate DPMMFC or the Singapore Armed Forces. Ever so long ago, we saw Alexander Durich and Rene Koma score goals. And it is very, very tight indeed. We are going to be moving to penalties in a short while.